Yo, what is poppin' guys? Um, yesterday I uploaded the first week of the MPL preseason, um, in which I defeated the New York Greninjas and the Kirch Nova. And now I'm back with another preseason game versus a very formidable opponent, um, who improved a lot during the last two seasons, in my opinion. Um, definitely, um, I definitely, um, yeah, he started to play really well last season, and I expect big things of him this season. Definitely a playoff contender, so... We are facing Turbo Blaze in this Phoenix Midnight and a pretty interesting squad, very offensive by the looks of it, but with a nice defensive core here. He has Virachi, Snorlax, um, Ladios, Hitmonlee, Rhypera and Mega Pinsir. Um, definitely a very threatening team, like Mega Pinsir is a mod that my team doesn't really deal too well with. Um, as you see, I decided not to bring my Zada X because I felt like with the Snorlax around, with the Rhyperia around, um, even with the Ladios around that could, could potentially be Scarf, it doesn't have the best matchup and I could like potentially capitalize on him thinking um, I definitely gonna bring Zard, um, maybe it's a wall breaker like in FIFA, and play around like what I expect him to bring for that. So I built a pretty pretty heat team in my opinion. Um, around the curse um, Reggie Steel set which I expect to like put in so much work work with him. Um, once the Hitmonlee is gone and once a week the pincer, the registry basically wins, I feel like, because um, Rapira can't really break me once I get up to two curses. If it's not a bandit Snorlax, I can like set up on it. Um, I can set up on the Jirachi unless it's a trick set, in which case I have to protect on it. Um, an Iron Head curse, protect, and an earthquake. Um, I can like always scout for stuff like high jump kick on the, on the Hitmonlee, you see, like if. Um, anything wants to trick me or something, I can like really capitalize on the protect, get some leftovers back, and potentially like make the Hitmonlee trash with the high jump kick, which would be nice. So, Red is still definitely gonna be a win con in this match. Um, as you see, like, like, it puts in a lot of work for his team. Um, Togekiss here is a nice wish passer, wish protect, baton pass, air slash. Uh, it's my dedicated switch into Hitmonlee, obviously. Um, it deals with Ladia, Ladios fairly well, unless it's a T bolt set. Um, can switch into Tangrowth unless it's Bandit, and can just wish pass into my into my bulkier stuff like Registeel and Manaphy, both of which like lack recovery, obviously. Um, actually, my <laughs> Manaphy doesn't lack recovery. Bring a pretty interesting set with Manaphy, physically defensive, uh, mostly to t um, take two returns from Mega Pinsir after rocks. Um, with the Scarlet Rest, Raidance, and Tail Glow set, um, my opponent has like two water resists on his team. Uh, one of which is Ladios, and the other is like some some water type that I can can set up on, or um, a Delmice that I didn't expect to come because I, because I have Zadax, I, I have Togekiss, um, I have Middle King, and all the good stuff. So I didn't really expect him to bring Delmice, and I felt like with the um, Tail Glow up, once I weaken the Delmice a little, I should bring it. I like can potentially sweep um, fairly easily because once I like identify Ladios set if it has Thunderbolt or not. I can potentially like just rain and rest up on on it. I can rain and rest up on the Snorlax unless he packs like a bandit thunder punch and stuff like that. I can check the Rapira easily. I can take it from Hitmonlee. So man, if you definitely a pretty cool win condition here with the Skull Tail or Rest Rain and Set. Um, definitely gonna be fun to use. My boy Fortress here is back with Gyro Ball, Rapid Spin, Stealth Rock, and Earthquake. Also physically defensive, mostly um some Spadef in there with the Rocky Helm. Just to like get potential ship off. On the Hitmonlee, on the Rapid Spins, on the Jirachi, on Iron Head, um, on the Snorlax potentially if you want to go for Body Slam, and obviously for the Pinsa if I can like switch in on the Quick Attack and get some nice clean ship on it, um, which would be nice. So definitely my Rocker here this week and also my Hazard removal. Um, my opponent has a, has a Ghost Star, but as I said, I didn't expect it to come um, in form of the Delmas, obviously. So that should be fine. My well, Middle King here is um, a physically ver physically offensive variant, mostly this time. Poison Jab, Sucker Punch, Earth Power though, and Toxic Spikes. Um, Earth Power just hit the um, the Rapira harder than um, Earthquake would do, and I didn't want to take Life of Recall, so I decided to you know let's say fuck it and go with the with the um, Naughty Nature actually Max Attack and the Earth Power um, because Earth Power still gives me the same two chaos Earthquake get, uh, gives me and doesn't. And, um, and I don't take Earthquake Recall, so uh, Life of Recall, this is, this is pretty nice. Um, Poison Jab also two chaos and AV Snorlax if he wants to come in on me, <laughs> which is always fun. Sucker Punch can pick up a slightly weakened um, Ladios, can pick up a 
what's called a Jirachi potentially and like maybe an endure set with from the Hitmonlee. Um, priority is nice to have versus that thing. So yeah, I have like only 100 speed EVs on that thing. I think it was enough for um, a Crawdon, I think Jolly Crawdon, which he thankfully didn't bring because my switches to that were pretty limited. Um, for example, like Manaphy was the only thing that can take it. Um, toxic Toxic Spike effect uh, would come in really really handy to wear on stuff like Snorlax, wear on Rhyperia, wear on um, any potential spinner on his squad, um, be it the Hitmonlee or the Delmite. Mm. And it would really help to pave the way for potential Nidoking sweep I felt. So um, Toxic Spikes definitely will come in clutch versus um, mo the more bulky stuff on his squad. Last one I decided to bring was the, was the Superior set. Um, Leaf Storm, Hidden Power, Fire, Leech Seed and Knock Off. Leech Seed obviously to um, potentially get some nice big health back from the AV Snorlax because of its huge HP stat. Um, knock Off to catch Ladio, Snorlax or Jirachi on the switch and knock off their um, respective items, either um, Choice Specs or Choice Scarves on Ladi, um, AV on Snorlax and potential Lefties or Scarf on Jirachi, which would be nice. So, um, I feel like the squad is pretty solid here. Copa very obviously to pick up a, uh, what's called a pincer um, after rocks at plus two. So it's like decides to come in after I kill something with leaf storm and like take rock summit. I can potentially knock it out with the plus two HP five because I live um, a quick attack as long as I'm over 50% uh, with the cobra berry. So that's nice. So that's a right into it. Yeah, I would say I'm a little with my needle king because I want to get up my um, toxic spikes ASAP. He decides to deal with Hitmonlee, which in my opinion isn't the best, like best um, best lead here. Obviously, unless he like predicted me, predicted me to lead off with the uh, with the Registeel, wouldn't like would 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 have would have made um, too much sense. Like definitely like lead advantage on my side. I decided to get up one toxic spike here that could come in handy, but he brings in the Snorlax oh, um, before I can like um, before I can poison this, but definitely will take like the damage. Earlier. And I, on the second turn, I decided to go for the Poison Jab because um, I want to identify a set and I want to see like if it's a Curse variant or an AV set or a Bandit set or like Invested or not. And this looks like a, definitely like a lot of HP, but looks like no defense or not a lot of defense. So I reckon it's a like it's a, an Adamant Snorlax, probably AV with like a bunch of Spadef and a little and some HP, I th I'd say. The poison left is 64%, which is nice. I weaken the Snorlax to a point where, I'm, um, if I knock off its AV, I can kill with the uh, with the Leaf Stone from the Surf, which is super nice. And fires of a body slam here on the second turn. I go for another poison jab, I, I think. But huh. oh no, I, obviously it was on the same turn. Gets a para, which is unfought. But um, my Needle Queen wasn't the Needle Queen wasn't the fastest one anyway. Um, I still outspeed um, the Rip the Rhyperia probably as well as the Snorlax, so it doesn't really matter unless I get fully para. Um, on next turn, he goes into Jirachis. I decided to go for another Poison Jab. Because I don't have the Earthquake, I couldn't go for that to pick up the Snorlax. Um, Earth Power would not have killed, especially if it's an AV variant, so I had to go for the Poison Jab. But that is fine. Um, he just goes for the Psychic. I went for the Earth Power because I didn't want him to set up um, set up potential substitutes on my um, on my Sucker Punch. Because then I, I would be in a very bad position because um, then he could play around with Paras, Karma and up on me. And then potentially like have an easy sweep versus me. So yeah, I can just go into Registeel and go for um, a curse, I think. I see U-turns out hard into his Hitmonlee, which is kinda surprising. Um, I decided to just curse up, see what like his initial response is. He was hard into Hitmonlee. Like had I gone for the earthquake here, Hitmonlee would have taken quite a quite a nice amount of damage. Um <laughs> so actually been nice. But knowing Toby yet like uh, mega love on last season and he um, Decided to go for the high jump kick all the time. Like whenever he had had and he clicked high jump kick um, kind of mindlessly at some point. So I decided to just, um, go for the protect here, trying to bait him to go for the high jump kick um, because like I don't have the best switches besides the Togekiss and like Togekiss he has solid answers for. And he actually goes for the high jump kick, crashes right into my protect and takes a nice nice chip damage off here, especially like with the toxic bug support. Now I have to switch out though. I'm just kind of unfought. Um, something has to take it, but I got to Togekiss here um, on his next side jump. He actually doesn't miss, which is which is nice um, for him. And I can just like go for a wish here, I think. As he goes for a poison jab and actually gets the poison. Um, getting very lucky here with the 
body slam para and the poison jab poison but i just wish i wish i did damage here and can protect on the next turn as he goes for another um high jump kick maybe predicting me to want to wish pass into something but nothing on my team is weakened so that didn't make too much sense and i want my target kids had a nice amount of health so yeah hitmon lee goes down which i like kind of thought it would uh, might have been his spinner um, unless he wanted to pack Defog on Ladi, but I feel like not a lot of people are going to bring Defog version me because um, Sapira with an evasion boost <laughs> could be kind of scary, so like you should rather b bring um, Rapid Spin version me if you have the chance to do so. Now he goes back into Jirachi, I um, decide to stay in and just like go for the for the baton pass in case he wants to U-turn out. Um, also, I didn't want to go hard into um, anything, like just in case he wants to um, he wants to trick my Registeel or something, so um, I feel like the Thompas was the way to go because I really don't need um, Togekiss that much anymore. Um, it only like really checks the um, a choice locked Latios and said that like doesn't really do too much with his team. So I, now I can go into my um, Registeel knowing that he can't can't um, trick me and he actually reveals to not be locked in, which is nice to see. Um, I just fire up an Iron Head here predicting him to U-turn out and catch the Rapier for some clean damage. Um, chip on Rapier is nice. Um, he really to be a, net, a leftover set, which I can fully understand. Like a bulky Rapier just makes sense for the team with Zadex. So, um, yeah, I can just like, I think I protect on the next turn. No, I switch out hard into my Superior, um, knowing that he probably wants to go for the Earthquake or the Stealth Rock. He sets up his rocks, which is fine play, and pressures my Togekiss even more, and forces me to potentially spin if I want to save the Togekiss. Now Sapira is in, and I decided to either go for a knockoff or the leaf stone, but I didn't want to play around with anything, so um, I actually decided to go for the leaf seed, expecting the Snorlax to come in. Um, and now I make this pretty stupid play. I go for a leaf seed again, uh, forgetting that I'm faster. I ch changed my speed on um, on the Sapira before the battle, and I was a bulky variant at first, but I felt like I need to, need to speed to outspeed base 100 and then yeah I forgot to do that <laughs> so um, that was kind of kind of bad but he turns out into Snorlax I could stay in here I don't know what I do actually no I decided to switch out and just like sack my talk here not playing around with the with the Snorlax um, he actually goes for the facade revealing that he is indeed probably an AV set with like four tags body slam facade earthquake I'd reckon and maybe like I don't know another coverage move maybe crunch or pursuit or something uh, which definitely makes sense with my squad. So, um, Snorlax is weakened. Now I can go back into Superior knowing that um, a Leaf Storm guaranteed kills. I get to plus 2 and I'm at 53% knowing that so that I guaranteed can take one more hit from the Pinsir uh, with the Cobra Berry should he go for the Quick Attack here. He decides to go into Spinsir, go for the Quick Attack. I um, know that I can live with that like, pitiful damage here. 32% isn't a lot. I can't pick off the Pinsir sadly though, but. Um, I know that he's dead on the next turn, and I have no reason not to go out into either my Man of B, my Fortress, or my Registeel on his um, next quick attack. He's kind of forced a quick attack. I felt like returning would would have been a good play, knowing that I want still want to keep my Superior to guarantee like um, knock out the Rapier from full and to potentially like knock off some stuff. Um, but obviously, um, he actually didn't know um, that Superior gets knocked off. I revealed that later in the game, and he was very surprised. So that's kind of Kind of funny. Um, Jirachi comes again. I don't want to get um, thunderbolted, but now looking at my opponent's team, um, like the Registeel just wins. I just need to get rid of the Rapier, and that, that thing is poisonous at 63%. He can't do anything to prevent me from choosing with the Registeel, which is super nice. He actually makes a good play and goes for the U turn on my Manaphy, trying to get momentum back, but um, won't really help him here too much. Takes the poison damage again with the Rapier, and I can just again. Go for the protect, get some more chip on him, um, get my get my lefties back, and then decide to either go out into my fortress or my superior or my manaphy. I think I go into my fortress, trying to spin away the rocks and then like get some clean chip damage off on anything. Um, I don't really want him to. I don't really want rocks up because I feel like my surf is still a decent amount of health and can potentially take an earthquake from the Rapiria. So I decide to um, rapid spin on this next turn and then like proceed to go for an earthquake. I think. Um, after that, so I go for the ice punch, trying to maybe predict my um, superior, which is a smart play. Like I showed that superior could be my initial switch into that. Definitely made sense, and now I can like 
just spam rapid spin here, so he actually gets crit with the earthquake. But that is really is fine with me because um, that allows me to go into Sabir and get my three plus two boost. Um, he actually makes a very smart plan, goes hard into Jirachi, not wanting to give me like the three um, plus two. And here on the next turn, I could could have gone either go uh, could have gone for the either the um, H fire or the knockoff. But I felt like in order to guaranteed win with Registeel and Manaphy, I want to like identify his item and if he's like expert belt or something, I wanted to weaken it. Um, if he's AV, which he actually used to be, um, that makes it easier for my Manaphy to win potentially and I can just like sack my Serapy on the knockoff. Didn't know that it got knockoff and that and it <laughs> like can get the get get rid of the AV, which is um, pretty pretty nice. Now like Rachi is weakened. Um, he sexes right here on the switch in obviously and as I like can go on to, into my um, Registeel now and win the game. Um, Sacking <laughs> Rapira here was actually smart because then I didn't get the momentum. Like had he gone into Ladios, I would have could have guaranteed gone to my um, Registeel and win from there. But now like he has to either flinch me down or para me or hex me or anything. But yeah, that's the game. I can curse her once. Um, I don't oh, curse her once or twice. I don't know if I need anything more. Um, I think I just curse her once. Don't want to prolong the battle. And yeah, just fire off an earthquake on the rush, and then Iron had the um, Gladios to death. So GG to my opponent. He actually played like um, actually played fairly well, but I felt like he had an absolutely terrible matchup versus my um, versus my register. I protect you on the Thunderbolt um, just to see if he maybe wants to um, wants to trick me. Um, I reckon the way he like spam Thunderbolt, he probably was a scarf or specs variant. I didn't like cast the damage because the game was over. You can just kill him with the IR. So GG to Turbo. Um definitely brought a fun squad. Um felt like I play, <laughs> nicely baited the Mega Pins, which could have been a big problem and like got rid of um registered counters um early so that I can like could like set up the late game sweep with the registered. So Curse Registered coming through in week two of the preseason. Um that's been, uh, actually on all, all of my preseason games I only played two. I uh, got a clean two hour record with um like two with a four hour and two hour win. So we head into the to the um regular season with um a little bit of momentum with this hype. Um season starts next week on Monday, so on the only nineteenth the first upload upload will be on the twenty sixth. Uh, which is super nice. So uh, we are playing Northern Nation and Nevada Northern for for week one. We've got a pretty pretty heat squad. <laughs> Definitely should be fun to watch for you guys. And yeah, hope you guys check that one out. Um, also, obviously I have some PMC content uh, content coming up this week. Uh, week seven should go up on se uh, Saturday, so go check that out. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And catch you on in my next video.